Welcome to the Kansas Westland News Desk. I'm Shelby Hubbard. The spring semester of 2013 is finally at an end. Kansas Westland will wrap up the school year with graduation this Saturday in the Maybe Arena. The semester was full of events. Let's go back and take a look at some of the most memorable experiences. This year's Media Reflection series focused on serial killers and hate crimes in the media. Professor David Silverman, the organizer of the event, told us the media has some responsibility in turning serial killers into celebrities. If they don't cover it, the other station will and they're going to lose viewers to that station. So they all do it. They all cover it because they know somebody else is going to. If they all made a concerted effort to stop covering it, um, then maybe we could start to have a real conversation about the things that really are important in this country. Uh, Nancy Grace has made a career out of this sensationalism, this uh, sort of yellow journalism almost. I mean, it, she harkens back to some of the worst cases of muckraking in the 19th and early 20th century. And if she were to just take on poverty or uh, hunger or something else, if she were to focus that kind of energy on some of the real issues, like climate change, anything other than what she does every night, maybe we could change the conversation. But until that happens, we kind of have what we have today. Featured speaker at this year's Media Reflection series was Professor Jack Levin from Northeastern University. We were able to ask him about what exactly drives a person to become what many call a monster. I think that there are killers who want desperately to feel important. You know, when we think of the motives for murder, we think of jealousy and revenge and money. Uh, but we forget that many killers uh, have been bullied and humiliated. Uh, they have never excelled in any other way. And to them, uh, the, their crimes are, are tremendous accomplishments, but they want to share it. Uh, they want to be seen as big shots, as powerful and dominant, in control, in charge of things. And so uh, they want their photographs displayed on national television. This year's Media Reflection series was a hit on campus. We can't wait to see what's in store for next year's series. There was a famous display at the Kansas Westland Art Gallery this spring called Out of the Box, featuring artist Peggy Medina. The local artist presented a series of sculptures around a certain theme, and its art department chair, Lori Wright, told us Medina was inspired to create her latest piece after a tragedy at a dog kennel killing 1,200 animals. She felt the need and the urge to create this piece. So that's how this all started, was off this one idea. And so she decided to make 1,200 boxes to represent the 1,200 kennels, the 1,200 animals in those kennels um, of the animals that had to die. Medina's work has been on display at the Kansas Westland Gallery and Sam's Hall of Fine Arts all throughout the spring semester. Kansas Westland Debate and Forensics team hosted their annual tournament in February. Coach Gary Harmon told us the debate competition, competition requires students who have researched a wide variety of subjects. They're not allowed to take any evidence into the round. They have to talk from a, a, a position of knowledge and a knowledge base. So uh, uh, everything that they have comes off of that knowledge base. Uh, the reading and the background information is, is really, really important. The other type of debate we do is Lincoln-Douglas, and it's on a particular subject area, and we can research at home on that and do a lot more. They don't have, they're not quite so much on the spot in uh, terms of preparation time and such. The debate and forensics team had a very successful year and hope to come back stronger in the years to follow. The Kansas Westland softball team spring season came to an end last weekend at the conference tournament. We were able to meet up with head coach Daryl Holting, who told us that he was pleased with the outcome of the season. We had a very good season, considering that we replaced eight girls, eight starters that left. Uh, very few people realize we lost a starting pitcher, catcher, first, second, third, left field and right fielder. But I think our girls have really come together well this year. Uh, to end up 33-8 and eight is, is a special the season. The softball team ended conference play taking third place and ended the conference, conference tournament taking fourth place. Time to take a look at what happened on KKW Radio this semester. Jalil Turner has this report. Thanks, Shelby. I'm Jalil, representative for KKWU Radio. KKWU Radio is a college radio station ran by we, the students. The radio station plays a variety of different shows, such as hip-hop and R&B, to classic rock, and the local sound featuring Amber Bennett. 
Be sure to tune in to keep up to date on what's going on around campus. That's all we have for now. We'll see you again next year on the Kansas Westland News Desk. For our cameraman, Brett Geeson, and KKWU's Joel Turner, I'm Shelby Hubbard.